All right, what is up, excellent viewers? Tonight I am in Sydney and I am just shooting a roll of Fuji Superior 400. Then I'm gonna be push processing by two stops. I've done a couple of videos like this before where I push process films to try and see if I can shoot them handheld at night, but I've mainly done it with films that are a bit more expensive like Portra, Cinestill and whatnot. Um, so tonight I'm just gonna try a cheaper film, a 400 ISO one and see if we can get away with only 600, 1600 ISO and see how that goes and how the, the photos turn out. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so it's still pretty bright out here, but my shutter speed is at 250 for this shot. Um, we'll just drop it down a little bit to 180. I'm not overexposed, but I generally lean towards more towards overexposure when shooting at night because light is scarce and yeah, it's probably better to lean towards overexposure because we're unlikely to blow out too many of our highlights here. happen. We had to drop all the way down to 160th of a second there. I would like to get a silhouette of people going past that shop there. But not four people. Maybe this one person. I think I got that one. The last one, I'm pretty sure was blurry. We're out of focus, so just too far away. me a good reflection but this one looks even better with the amount of neon lights up the top I'm actually not even gonna try and get people I just want to get all the lights This seems to be working fairly well. For the most part, my shutter speed is staying above 1 90th of a second.
throwing in some handheld long exposures in there as well. Exposures, trying to get the chaos of the movement. You can cut that here. Alright, I'm going to try and overexpose this as much as I can. I want the lights from the train stop to sort of bloom out. Uh, try again without those people. Just the two people in front of it. Uh, okay, we'll go across. See if we can get something front on. Let's see if we can rest on this bin. And maybe Maybe we can get a long exposure. Two minutes until the next train. That's not too bad. I got eight shots left. So I'm thinking I want to try and I'll shoot landscape because that's where I can rest here. Um, but a little bit of movement from the people, but mainly the glow from the tram coming through. shots left. Okay, last shot. I'm going to try and get shadows of people casting over there and overexpose that bollard. That is the end of the roll of film, so go take it off to go get developed.